What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Fireside Giants. I'm your host, Anthony Rivardo, joined by my co-host, Alex Wilson, and the Giants finally did it. They got on the board, they made a splash signing, and they got themselves their linebacker of the future, Bobby Okereke, formerly of the Indianapolis Colts. Many of you might remember him from that game versus the Colts for the Giants this year. Giants clinched a playoff berth in that game, but Okereke had a great game. 17 total tackles in that game, a late hit on Daniel Jones, but now he'll be joining Daniel Jones and the New York Giants for the 2023 season. He just signed a four year $40 million deal. It's one of the more expensive deals that was handed out to a linebacker today after we saw TJ Edwards go for six and a half million per year. We saw David Long for five and a half million per year. The Giants paying up a little bit more to get a 26 year old linebacker in Bobby Okereke. I think it's an interesting signing. He's a good run defender. He's athletic. He can make plays in coverage. He's not the best in coverage, but he's definitely a good linebacker and he perfectly fits the Wink Martindale mold of being one of those athletic plus run defenders uh, from the linebacker position, having the ability to stop players at the second level. He's kind of a tackle merchant. He had uh, like over, like almost 280-something tackles across the past two seasons. So I like Bobby Okereke. I think he's a good player, and I'm pretty happy with the signing. So I want to hear your thoughts on it down below in the comment section. So make sure that you do leave a like if you enjoy this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new and ring the bell so you don't miss an episode. But let's go ahead, Alex. Let's hear your thoughts on Bobby Okereke and kind of the signing from the Giants today. Well, I'll tell you what, if you watch, if you kind of watch the video that we just recorded, 30 minutes worth of uh, evaluating what the Giants were doing. And of course, the second we hit stop, they signed Bobby Okereke. But that's just how it goes in this business. <laughs> you know, you can never know when the Giants are going to do something crazy. And this is a good deal, right? We need the linebacker support. Bobby Okereke is a very solid player. 151 combined tackles last year. So like Anthony said, he's a tackle merchant. He's going to be a guy that's physical. He's athletic. He can go up and stop the run, and that's really what we needed. We go out and get a defensive tackle to add depth to the position, and then we add a linebacker at the second level to make it happen. Obviously, really, really good tackler. 99 solo tackles at about a 10%, 10.8% missed tackle rate this past season. So when you're having that many attempts, though, you're going to have missed tackles. It's just part of the job. Um, six tackles for a loss. He's not much of a pass rusher. That was never really his game. He's had two sacks in four years um, and only four quarterback hits in four years. So this is going to be a really second-level run-stopping linebacker for the Giants. He's going to be the Mike. He's going to be the guy that collects all the tackles. I would not be surprised if they went out and drafted a really athletic linebacker that they can rush the passer with and do some more athletic things um, you know, around his game. But this is your guy that's going to stop the run. This is the guy that's going to really bring that, um, that pop. And he had two forced fumbles last year to go with it. So solid player in coverage. His numbers aren't very inspiring. You know, he gave up 651 yards and two touchdowns this past season with a, a near 79% reception rate um he did have a couple standout performances in coverage but mostly you know you never want linebackers in coverage that's not not really his game he's more of like you know we talked about Blake Martinez when they first signed him we we're like he's a really good tackler but he's terrible in coverage same exact mentality with this guy I don't think he's going to be someone we want in coverage very often I think they're going to try and find a linebacker in the draft that's a little bit more coverage friendly and then pair him alongside um a guy like Bobby Okereke so being that, you know, we kind of look at his tackling metrics, look at his run defense, very solid numbers across the board, joining a team that already has tremendous defensive linemen. Um, do you think that he's going to solve that LB1 Mike linebacker issue that we so desperately needed to resolve this offseason? Yeah, I do think that he fits that role, and I think he fits that role really well because he is such a good run defender. Now, I, I don't want to liken him to Blake Martinez. I don't think that's the best comparison because Blake Martinez, when he was signed by the Giants, was like, really bad in coverage. He was really good in run defense, but he was like really bad in coverage. Okereke's not that bad. It's not his strong suit. It's not the game that he plays. He's more of a run defender. But if you go and you watch some clips on the guy, he does have some plays on film where he is really good in coverage. So he has his moments of excellence even. I, there was a touchdown or not a touchdown, but a two-point conversion that he stole from the Jaguars, took it all the way back. He took a flat route to the house, 100 yards. It was sick. So he's got the ability to make plays like that because he's such an athlete. Now, again, he's not the best in coverage, most technically skilled in coverage, but he does have a few interceptions to his resume, a lot of them coming in the flat, but some of them deep. I just saw a clip on Twitter as well with the Colts where he made a, an interception as the Tampa 2 middle linebacker, which was like 25 yards deep downfield. He kind of mossed somebody, so he might be the guy that finally slows down tight ends. Now, again, just because in the past his, his stats don't show him as being so great in 
coverage doesn't mean that he can't be coached into being a good coverage player because Okereke, again, very athletic, and now he's got a really good coaching staff with Wink Martindale. If he's playing that middle linebacker position, he might turn into something really special there for Wink Martindale's defense. Again, I, I like this signing for the biggest reason being that he is just the Wink Martindale mold. Go back, watch the linebackers that Martindale had with the Baltimore Ravens. All these players were maybe a little undersized, six foot one, like Okereke, but still really strong and really fast. And they do make plays in the running game. Like this is a Wink Martindale linebacker. So I like Okereke. I think that he brings a lot to this team and I'm curious to see how he fits in. You're asking me, does he fit in in the middle of the field? Where's the green dot? Plays the mic? Yes, I think that is exactly what he does. Otherwise, the Giants wouldn't be paying him $10 million per season. I think that's your answer right there. Now, I like the fact that it's pretty low in guaranteed money. I think it was somewhere around $22.5 million is what they guaranteed him, which is pretty good. Probably gives him an out after the second or third season. And when you look at it, Okereke is very young. He's only 26. So we were talking about other players, right? Like Tremaine Edmonds, he's 24. That's why he just got paid $18 million per season. But some of these other guys, you know, like an Eric Kendricks or Bobby Wagner, they're not going to fetch a whole lot of money on the open market because they're pla they're past 30 years old. And the Giants don't want to go in that direction. They don't necessarily want like an older guy who's going to be a stopgap middle linebacker. No, they want a 26-year-old Bobby Okereke who has room to grow and potential to be something really special over the next four seasons. So that's why I really like this signing. I think it's a good one by the Giants. I think that Wink Martindale, once he gets his hands on Okereke, he could turn him into something really special the same way that Patrick Graham did for Bob, uh, Blake Martinez because Blake Martinez was a good run defender, horrible in coverage, wasn't even the best player. A lot of Packers fans were happy to see him go to the Giants, but then he gets to the Giants and Patrick Graham, he was such a perfect scheme fit for Graham that he turned into such a good player. And I'm hoping that we see kind of history repeat itself here with Okereke because it looks like Bobby Okereke could be a perfect scheme fit in Wink Martindale's defense. So Alex, what are your thoughts on that? The ability for Okereke to grow being only 26 years old and being a player that looks like the perfect Wink Martindale mold at the linebacker position. I mean, look, he's an athletic free. Six foot one, 235 pounds, 26, as you mentioned. He's really, really young. He's in the middle of his prime. And the Giants clearly are going for younger players. You know, they're not, I mean, Bobby Wagner is still on the board. There's some older veterans there, but he's a guy that's young. And I think they want to be instilling more youth. It seems like that's kind of the direction that they're going in. And he's athletic. He has sideline to sideline speed. As you said, he's not a liability in sense and coverage. I just wouldn't say it's his primary strength. I'd say he's a much better run stopper. He's physical. He's fast. Um, you know, I don't know how much he's going to do man coverage assignments and, and get away with it. It, it seems like he had a couple of man coverage assignments from the, from the clips that I saw. A lot of really nice zone reads, though. Um, you mentioned that, uh, that you know, pass he took to the house. He just stepped right in front on a zone coverage system and then really just took it um, 100 yards uh, for the two points there. So, you know, can definitely step in and make some nice athletic plays. That's part of his game. That's part of why he's so exciting to watch. But he's a massive upgrade, guys. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. Jalen, you know, Smith, uh, Tay Crowder, long gone. On. I wouldn't be opposed to bringing Jan Smith back on a reserve deal, just having him as a backup because he is athletic and he has experience in our system. But Bobby Okereke is a significant upgrade from what we've seen in the past couple of years. So that's definitely exciting for the Giants. But I think that kind of wraps up everything we need to know about him for now. We can look at some film of his uh, maybe tomorrow and, and really break him down and see what his strengths are. Uh, but the stats say that he's a very good run uh, you know, stopper. He's going to collect those tackles, 151 this past season, two forced fumbles. Not much of a, a blitzer, but who knows? Maybe with that athleticism, maybe the Giants try to get him more involved in that fast set and he can make some more uh, plays for us in the backfield. So... Definitely something to keep an eye on, but excited about the signing. We needed a linebacker badly, and we finally got one on a pretty decent contract. I think it's a decent contract. I think it's a very good player, and again, I like that he has room to grow. He's only 26 years old. This is a good signing by the New York Giants. We have plenty of opportunities to add even more talent, maybe even at the linebacker position. So many players, but there's going to be a whole lot added to the Giants over the next coming days. It's going to be really exciting. Of course, we're going to update you on every signing that the New York Giants make right here on Fireside Giants. So let us know your thoughts on the Bobby Arakeriki signing down below in the comment section. And of course, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy the episode and subscribe to the channel if you're new and ring the bell so you don't miss an episode. We'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one and let's go Giants.